So, it is finally here. After months of anticipation, tweets speculation Tesla has started rolling out full self-driving beta. Version 14. This is not just another incremental update. Elon Musk has been hyping this one for a while. He says it makes the car feel almost sentient. Early wide release began in late September 2025. First impressions are already flooding in from beta testers. This version promises a fundamental change in how the car perceives and interacts with the world. It moves beyond just seeing the road to understanding context in a much deeper way. For years, the industry has been filled with grand promises about self-driving, often followed by disappointing reality. So, when Elon Musk uses a term like almost sentient, it is easy to dismiss it as just more hyperbole, another marketing buzzword. But what he is trying to describe is a tangible shift in the driving experience, a fundamental change in the car's core logic. It is the difference between a car that feels programmed with millions of lines of rigid, if this then that code and one that feels like it has intuition. This new system moves beyond simple rules. It operates on a neural network trained on billions of miles of real-world video, allowing it to make predictive, probabilistic judgments, much like a human brain does. And early reports from the first wave of version 14 users suggest this is not just talk. The feedback flooding online forums isn't just about technical improvements, it's emotional. Drivers are expressing a newfound sense of trust, even partnership with their vehicles. They're describing a system that anticipates the flow of traffic with uncanny accuracy. It doesn't just see the car in front, it seems to understand the entire rhythm of the road. It's navigating complex, unprotected left turns and chaotic roundabouts not with the robotic, stuttering hesitation of older systems, but with a smooth, decisive quality that mimics an experienced, confident human driver. It is about the subtle, almost imperceptible adjustments the car makes. The slight drift to one side of the lane to give a cyclist more space, even before they've signaled a turn. These are the micro-behaviors that tell you it is thinking several steps ahead, not just reacting to what is directly in front of it. This is where the idea of sentience really takes hold. It is about understanding the unwritten, unspoken rules of the road, the social contract between drivers. It's interpreting the slight hesitation of another car at a four-way stop, or recognizing the body language of a pedestrian about to cross. This social intelligence is what allows it to navigate a chaotic parking lot, not just by tracking objects, but by predicting the intentions behind their movements with far greater confidence. This leap raises profound questions. As these systems become more intuitive and less predictable in a strictly coded sense, how do we approach regulation and safety verification? The line between machine and proficient driver is blurring, forcing us to redefine what it means to be in control. So, what is the secret sauce behind this leap in performance? The headline spec. A massive tenfold increase in neural network parameter count. Think of the neural network as the car's brain. Parameters are the knobs and dials inside that brain, tuned during learning. Ten times more parameters like upgrading from millions of neurons to billions. That boosts the AI's capacity to learn. It improves recognition of complex patterns. It enables highly nuanced decisions, using huge amounts of camera data. The expansion moves AI beyond simple object recognition. Now it understands relationships between objects and predicts future behavior. Example, not just a bicycle, a cyclist. The car is not just reacting, it is running countless simulations of possible futures. This is an architectural change unlocking new capability. For years, the pursuit of autonomous driving has been a story told through the lens of a camera, a world interpreted through pixels and photons. But vision alone has its limits. It can be obscured by fog, blinded by glare, or blocked by obstacles. Now, with version 14, a new sense awakens. One of the most groundbreaking features is something you cannot see, the car can now hear. This isn't a simple microphone listening for loud noises. For the first time, Tesla is integrating a complex audio neural network directly into the core decision-making process. This network runs in parallel with the vision system, processing sound to identify not just what it is, but where it's coming from and what it means. Strategically placed microphone arrays around the vehicle provide 360-degree auditory coverage. These sensitive instruments are engineered to capture and parse a wide spectrum of environmental sounds. Consider the classic challenge of an approaching emergency vehicle. FSD can now hear the siren long before an ambulance becomes visible, even when it's several blocks away or obscured by buildings. 
The AI analyzes the sound's Doppler shift and volume to calculate its direction and proximity. The system can then proactively slow, signal, and move over to clear a path, often before a human driver would even begin to react. The system's vocabulary extends far beyond sirens. It can register a warning honk, instantly identify its direction, and heighten the car's awareness for potential hazards in that vector. It's also being trained to recognize the screech of tires, the shouts of pedestrians, or even the distinct ring of a cyclist's bell, adding critical layers of non-visual data to its perception. This fusion of sight and sound creates a perception system that is fundamentally more robust and resilient. When one sense is compromised, a camera blinded by sun glare or a view blocked by a large truck, the other can provide the crucial context needed to make a safe decision. After all, we do not just drive with our eyes. Our ears constantly build and refine our mental map of the road. FSD is now developing this same intuitive multi-sensory understanding of the world. This is far more than a subtle change, it's a profound leap in situational awareness that directly enhances everyday safety. It's not just another sensor, it's the foundation for a more intelligent, more perceptive and ultimately more trustworthy integrated AI for the road ahead. With every FSD update, the conversation inevitably turns to safety. With version 14, Tesla is walking a fine line. This increased confidence is reflected in a noticeable reduction of the infamous driver nags. The system is now less demanding when it is confident, like on a straight highway. However, this relaxation does not mean less oversight. In some ways, it is stricter. If you are distracted or drowsy, the system can escalate warnings and disable FSD for the trip. Agencies like NHTSA are watching closely, with ongoing investigations and calls for transparency. Proving superior safety requires billions of miles and a near-flawless record. As competence grows, complacency risk grows. Strict monitoring is the counterbalance. Whether regulators accept this approach remains one of the biggest unanswered questions. The launch of version 14 is not just about improving the driving experience for current Tesla owners. It is a stepping stone toward a fleet of autonomous robo-taxis. The goal? Turn compatible cars into revenue-generating assets in a shared network. To work at scale, the software must handle any scenario in any city without intervention. States like Arizona and Nevada are key battlegrounds for testing and approvals. Competitors run limited services. Tesla is using version 14 advances to make its case. More confident urban navigation and siren response make public service viability more real. The business model is transformative, with Tesla-run fleets and owners opting in when idle. But it all depends on solving full self-driving. As impressive as version 14 is, it is still a level 2 driver assistance system. It requires your full attention at all times. Keep hands ready and eyes on the road. The sentient feel is real, but it is not foolproof. When it encounters unknowns, you are the ultimate safety backup. A long-standing annoyance has been engaging from Park. A recent maintenance release addresses Start FSD from Park for a more seamless curb-to-curb -curb experience. Musk outlines at least three point releases, with enhancements to audio processing, prediction, and driving style. Every mile feeds the training loop, so the FSD you use next month should be slightly better than today. True nap in the backseat autonomy remains on the horizon. Responsible deployment is the priority. To grasp version 14's significance, we must look beyond automobiles and into the heart of the defining technological race of our time, the quest for artificial general intelligence. While competitors built systems on high-definition maps and LiDAR, a digital safety net, Tesla made a controversial bet. They rejected these crutches, arguing true autonomy can't be confined to pre-mapped zones. It must learn to navigate the world using only vision, like a human. This approach is infinitely more scalable but exponentially harder. For years, critics called it impossible. Version 14, however, stands as the strongest validation of this audacious strategy to date. Meanwhile, labs like OpenAI proved a universal principle. Immense scale in models, data and compute can unlock emergent intelligence. They taught a machine to reason with language. Tesla applies that same principle to the physical world. What GPT is to text, FSD aims to be for real-world navigation. It's an embodied AI where digital decisions have immediate, kinetic consequences, demanding safe, intelligent action in our chaotic reality. Here, Tesla's vertical integration is its key advantage. From custom silicon to the Dojo supercomputer, Tesla controls the entire stack, creating a powerful data flywheel.
Millions of vehicles form a global data gathering network, feeding immense real-world video datasets to its training servers. The refined software is then beamed back to the fleet via over-the-air updates. This tight, closed loop shortens the learning cycle, creating a rate of iteration competitors struggle to match. So, is version 14 the pivotal leap toward Tesla's robotaxi vision? It represents the most significant architectural shift in years. By moving to a single, end-to-end -end neural network, the system is transitioning from reactive to truly predictive, attempting to understand intent and anticipate traffic. This isn't just another update, it's the foundational groundwork for a new paradigm of autonomous mobility. It strengthens the case that a vision-based, data-driven approach can win. Whether it justifies lofty valuation hinges on execution, safety, and regulatory progress. But now, the real test begins. The software is in the hands of thousands of drivers, on millions of miles of unpredictable roads. And I want to know what you think. If you are a Tesla owner with version 14, drop a comment below and share your first impressions. Is it really a game changer, an almost sentient leap, or just great marketing? Either way, with version 14, the destination feels closer than ever, and the next few months will tell us how close. Remember, today, FSD remains supervised. Drive attentively.